Okay, back. Um, I just added a bunch of uh, smaller pieces just to give it something. This is kind of what we got going here. These are all random pieces um, that I made. And some of them are chips and some of them are that size. So. Now you can see all the ash that's blowing out, but it's pretty hot, so I'm um, going to have to decide what I'm going to do with that. Well, you can see how much more air I've got going in there. That's kind of why it was hard to start. Add some of this. This stuff really needs a hot flame. It does spark on its own, so see that's what I was trying to get going. So I may have to like move out of the way. See all the ash, it's just raining off of it. Some type of, uh, I have another speaker cover, I might put it up there, but it's not gonna last. It's a little scary, but more like a jet motor. I don't know what I could do with it. I'm gonna stand on the other side. going to happen now is as it gets less and less fuel it's going to get more air so I'm going to have to take it off. Oh my god. Alright. Well that's all I'm going to run on it. Whew. That's what the bottom looks like. Let's see what we had here. Yeah, the other side, <laughs> carbon felt. <laughs> Bottom's a hundred. Top is. 300. Yeah, Karen says it's 676, but it's probably actually more. Alright, well, that's what happens when you supercharge a wood gas. So, 
or actually a wood forge. <coughs> so this is it's not that one. But as you can see the motor is fine. Still runs. But uh, let's see what we had here. Oops, wire touched. That's what's left. That and a lot of ash. <clears throat> okay. 